Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a beginner Pilates reformer workout. I am using a balanced body piece of equipment, so I'm gonna talk you through all the spring tension and colors necessary to go through each of the exercises. It is an all levels class, and it's gonna be a full body focus. I'm also using the magic circle, so if you have this prop, go ahead and grab it. You don't need it to do the workout, but it makes it kind of fun if you do. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. And if you do like the video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and check out some of the other reformer workouts I have on the channel. All right, guys, let's have your magic circle handy. I'm gonna set my footwork up for three and a half springs, which is two reds, a green spring, and a yellow spring. Lying on your back, grab a hold of those pegs behind you and simply keep your legs together and just windshield wipe them over to the right hand side as you look to the left. And then go ahead and repeat on the other side, just stretching out through the low back. Bring it back to center. Tabletop the legs and let's just repeat that. Nice and easy here as we stretch out through the low back. Beautiful. Let's place those heels back on the foot bar to begin our footwork series. Arms are down beside you. Go ahead and press on out as you exhale. Inhale to slowly bring that carriage back in. Think about keeping those ankles nice and quiet as those toes are looking up directly towards the ceiling. Our jaw is relaxed, our shoulders are soft, and we're beginning to knit those ribs together bringing it in like a tight corset. Pushing from those heels and activating the back side of the legs, exhale, stretch out, inhale, return. Bring it in halfway for tiny pulses, feeling it right above the knee. Breathe in, breathe out, and press entirely out to straight legs and return back in. Shifting to your toes, heels are lifted, exhale, press out. Beautiful. Again, trying to think about maintaining all the natural curves of your spine, not overly imprinting your low back and not overly arching the back. Do your best to equally distribute the weight into all of your toes and keeping your heels at the same place as you push out and as you bend those knees in. Good. Exhale, push out, and then returning back in halfway for those tiny pulses Good, barely moving the carriage, you got it. Exhale and inhale, and then push out to straight legs. Drop those heels under for a nice stretch. Reach those heels away from you, and then begin to bring the carriage back in. Heels together, toes apart, and zip through those inner thighs. Really focus on activating the inner thighs. Really push the back of the knees towards the floor so that you're standing Long and straight here. Focus on keeping your heels hugging together. And again, taking inventory of your body. Relaxing through the upper body. Feeling the engagement through your core and inner thighs. Drop those heels under for calf raises. Lower and lift. Lower the heels and lift the heels. You got it. Nice deep breathing here. Dropping under and lifting up. Just a few more. Perfect. We're gonna lift those heels up nice and high and then pulse upward. Beautiful, baby pulses upward, reaching, reaching, reaching. And bend to come back in. Let's go back to parallel and then prance it out. So just walk it out nice and slowly, dropping one heel under, bending the opposite knee. And it should feel really nice here as we walk it out. And return back home. I'm gonna come up and we're gonna go into single leg work. So I'm adjusting my springs down to two and a half springs. I've also just removed the one red spring. So you can have two reds and a blue spring on, or you can also have a red, a green, and a yellow spring. Now, left heel is on the foot bar, right leg is up, and I'm taking the ring around the arch of my foot. Notice my right palm is facing upward. 
So try to relax through the shoulder and keep that shoulder socket nice and open. Push out through the right heel as you bring those toes down towards your chest. You should feel a pretty deep stretch going through the back of that leg. And then again, as you're pushing through your left heel, try to minimize the rocking of your ankle. Excellent. Exhale to push out and inhale to bend back in. Hold it there and then bend into that right knee and push up. This will just enable that leg to stretch a little further. One more time. Bring it back in and let's switch sides. So the right heel is going to go on the foot bar, the ring's going around the left arch of the foot. Set yourself up for parallel. Again, left palm is facing up. If you need a glance at your right foot, make sure that the right ankle is tracking nicely with your knee and your hip. Sometimes that foot can tend to wander off to the right hand side, so we wanna make sure that we are maintaining alignment here. Pushing equally through the right heel, exhale, push out, inhale to bend. And again, focus on that left heel reaching to the ceiling micro bended, stretching and releasing. Beautiful. Good, just a couple more here. And then return and come right back in again. So we're switching the ring back to the right foot. Left toes are gonna be on the foot bar and the ring is now going to be around the right toes here. So it's a little bit deeper of a calf stretch than earlier into that hamstring stretch. Regardless, you're gonna feel it either way. Challenge your left foot to stay lifted so that you're equally pushing through all the toes on that left side and really strengthening through the left ankle. Relaxing your right shoulder as you're gripping through the magic circle and breathe. Point and flex through that right foot this can be a little bit deeper of a stretch, so you guys know your body, you know your limitations here. And return back in. Let's repeat on the other side. So right toes are parallel, they're on the foot bar, the magic circles around the left toes. Let's go ahead and flex that foot. As challenging as that can be, do the best you can. Left palm is facing up, and you're pushing equally into the right ball of the foot here. Focus on opening up through the front of the hip here. So you're reaching out long. I know there's a lot to think about here, especially since we're needing to focus on both sides of the body. But you guys are doing great. Point and flex to finish this off. You got it. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath on these. And then let's return and come back in. Great job, guys. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and change out the springs. We're going down to one red and one yellow, which is one and a quarter springs. I'm gonna go ahead and take that ring and set it between my inner thighs. So make sure you have a nice grip of the magic circle. Bring those arms up straight towards the ceiling and make sure the wrists are directly over the shoulders before the legs come to tabletop. Exhale to press those arms straight down. Yeah, so again, working through, through the, below the armpit here. So we wanna activate through the back extensors. But even with our legs in tabletop, you should feel your core activating. It should be completely engaged. If you would like to flex up, you have the option to curl your head and chest up. You can keep your head down if you need to though. Beautiful. Point out through those toes. Hug gently into the ring. Good. Add some pulses there. Squeeze through that ring nice and gently. And then lower the body back down again. Good. Arms to a T. Pull right back in. Again, option to flex up if you would like, otherwise keep your head down and try to focus on every other muscle group working here. 
you should not be arching your back. So if you are, just bring those knees in a little closer towards your chest and keep your heels lifted. Add flexion when you're ready. Exhale to curl up. Inhale to lower back down. Beautiful. And then we're adding those small pulses between the knees, hugging those inner thighs towards one another, and then carefully returning and come back home. Beautiful. Exhale, let's curl it up again and drop those legs down into this imaginary pond. You got it. Exhale to curl up, drop those feet down into the imaginary pond. Think of your legs being very heavy here. Beautiful. Exhale to curl and drop. And last time here, drop, lift, and lower back down. Elbows are in next to the sides and right into your tricep presses. Exhale, reach out long through those arms, working through the back of the arm. You should feel the heat developing and your tricep contracting. Reach those fingertips out and try to not break out through the wrist. So we want a very neutral wrist here. You guys have it. Exhale, press, inhale to bend. Take it into your birdie wings. So birdie wings, I just turned my palms out, outward away from my body. So we're just getting a different angle of the tricep here. Again, don't forget about giving that ring a gentle squeeze with those inner thighs. Beautiful work here. And return and come back. Exhale, let's flex it up one more time and drop those feet down. I know the abs are already feeling it, but we're just gonna finish it off with this finale and lift. Gentle, careful not to swing those legs up. Think of them very heavy here, and they may already be at this point. Dropping the legs, lift up and curl, drop the legs and lift and lower it down. Good job here, guys. Set those handles right back on the peg. Just shake out those knees, windshield wipe them left to right. And then let's go ahead and bring ourselves up to a seated position. So we're gonna switch out the handles into the loops. If you already have your loops on, don't even worry about this. You can just go on to the next step here. Headrest can still stay in a halfway up position and I'm changing out my springs to one and a half springs. One red and one blue. I'm gonna place the loops on my feet here one at a time. And then have your ring handy because we're gonna place the ring here on the outside of our ankles. So once the ring is there, get a good grip and think of pulling outward so that you can feel the outside of your hips turned on and activated. All right, so tailbone is nice and glued and connected to the mat. Let's lower those legs down towards the springs and then bring them straight up towards the ceiling. So notice as I'm lowering down, I'm stopping about halfway. And as I return the legs up, I'm stopping at a 90 degree angle here. So it's very important to make sure that your back doesn't overly imprint or overly arch, and also that your tailbone doesn't come up and off the mat. Beautiful job here, guys. Think about pulling that ring out, and then let's pulse outward. So pulse, really bring your feet apart from one another. You got it. And then bend the knees in, and then exhale, push out. So we're tracking here, ankles again with your knees, knees in line with your hips. Because it can be very simple for those knees to want to come in towards one another. So do the best you can to avoid that. Think of railroad tracks. Every time you push out to straight legs, you're pulling that ring apart to activate the outside of the hips here. Pulse out again. Little pulses, less is more, and then return back up. Bend those knees, 
and we're gonna combine those movements. So bend the knees into the chest, exhale, push to straight legs. Beautiful. Feeling the burn there through those outside hips. This is all about strengthening the hips. You guys are doing awesome right now. Reverse when you're ready. Exhale, press straight down. Inhale to bend in. Beautiful. And press. Nice. Let's remove the ring. Well-deserved hip circles are coming up next. So legs are together. Let's lower down and then separate and sweep them around. Really opening up through the hip socket here. And just dragging those feet back together at the top. Good. Again, arms are long and straight. Try to relax your hands and keep your palms flat against the mat. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, reverse that direction. If you don't feel that you're in very big control of the, your circles here, make sure you go a little smaller. They don't have to be large, although sometimes that does feel really good. But if you notice that your hips are moving a little bit more than you'd like them to, let's keep your hip circles a little smaller. Great. All right guys, taking one foot at a time out of your loops, hang those back up. And then we're gonna find that ring again and we're going to go ahead and take it. Take your legs through the ring above your knees. Let's take the headrest down flat if it wasn't already and make sure you have a little bit of room so you're not snug up against the shoulder blocks. We're gonna bridge here. So I have the heel pockets on the foot bar I'm pulling outward with my knees, and as I push through the arms here, I'm lifting my hips up. On your down, focus on articulating the spine if that feels good to you. So what I mean by that is think of each bone dropping down one vertebra at a time like a string of pearls. You can continue with that. Otherwise, if you'd like to follow with me, push out into extension. Careful not to lose your ring though. Hips are up nice and high. I know this feels like it's hot and heavy. Good, keep those hips lifted. Pulse the ring outward. You got it. Ribs are pulling together, belly is down and in. Exhale and lower everything back down. Good job guys. That was not easy because it was on a very light spring here. So next time if you do this workout, you could always adjust it and add another spring um, just to make that a little easier. Okay. So from this position, I am down to one blue spring, which is basically a half spring. We're going to do some kneeling arm work here. So I grab just that right strap come to a kneeling position and bringing your palms against the ring here we're going to lower and lift now if you have any knee issues you can stay up the whole time you don't have to add in the lowering and lifting good job guys ribs are closed belly is in exhale to hold let's slowly rotate to the right come back through center you're in control don't let the strap control you and then muscle focus Think about your obliques assisting you here. Beautiful. Nice and easy. Bring it in, hold it. Let's pulse that ring in, little pulses. Chest is lifted, push those hips forward. Abs are drawn in, you got it. And then extend those arms out long, bend them back in. Now the hardest part here is trying to keep those shoulders down. So do the best you can to really remind your shoulders to stay drawn down away from those ears. Reach out and pull in, reach out, inhale to pull in. Beautiful. And carefully hang that back up. Nice work guys. So let's grab a hold of the other loop. Again, setting your palms up against the ring here. In a kneeling position, we're going to exhale to reach 
inhale to lower down. So what this is doing is it's also strengthening through your quads and your knees here. Good. Really pushing from the front of the shoulder and through the pectoral muscles, through your chest. Exhale, reach. Good, carefully rotate to the left. Careful those hips are not going with you, but they're staying squared. Exhale, rotate through center. Inhale to the left. Nice. Returning back through center, bending your elbows and adding little pulses again. Good, stay tall for me here, guys. You got it. Exhale it and straighten out. Bend those elbows wide like they're reaching in opposite directions of the room. Beautiful. Inhale to bend and exhale, reaching out. And return carefully, placing that loop back down on top of the peg. Let's go into a kneeling rotation. So same thing with the ring, we're gonna hang on to one strap. Palms are set up the same way. Elbows are gonna stay bent the entire time as you rotate to the left. And again, our muscle focus is our obliques. So hips are staying squared, and then you're turning your torso to the left. Exhale, look over your shoulder, return through center and have a gentle squeeze at that ring. So you, again, you're activating your lat muscles here. Nice work, guys. Pulsing to the left. Little bit of extra oblique work in there to deepen the burn, and then back through center. As you hang up that loop, we're not gonna get to the other side just yet, but we're gonna add in some full body work here. So I'm gonna set my left foot up against the shoulder block. Hands are on the foot bar. Take a nice deep lunge here. So enjoy the lunge for just a moment. We're gonna add planks here in just a sec. Take a nice hamstring stretch. Arms are nice and long. Now you can continue with this if you'd like, otherwise join me as I plank up. So sweep that right leg out behind you in extension, floating your left knee off the mat. You got it. Abs are pulled in, stay strong, and slowly land. Good work, guys. All right, so let's repeat that entire series on the other side, starting with our kneeling rotation. So we're gonna grab the loop, and we're taking that ring once again, placing those hands on the ring, take a rotation to your right, sitting up nice and tall, connect those ribs here, engage through those obliques as we exhale. Inhale through center and exhale to the right. Beautiful. We're gonna add those pulses here in just a moment. Tiny little pulses to your right. Keep your chest lifted and slowly returning, coming right back in. Awesome work, guys. Okay, so hang that up. Let's go ahead and step off. We don't need our ring at this point. Again, if you wanna just do the stretch, feel free to just go for the stretch here. Otherwise, you can join me as we begin to plank in just a moment. So I like to take that nice deep lunge stretch where you're stretching the hip flexor, and then we go into that nice hamstring stretch. Perfect, all right guys, when you're ready, take a nice deep breath, exhale, you're gonna swing that left leg up and then carefully land down for five and four and three. Good job guys, keep breathing. Even if you can only do one or two, that is awesome. And then return and come back in. All right, we're gonna grab our box we're gonna take the foot bar down nice and flat. And I'm going to set it on long ways here, right up against the shoulder blocks. 
and we're gonna go ahead and lie on top of the box. Notice I didn't change the springs, so we're gonna just keep that same blue spring here, okay? So hold on to the ring into the well. Chest is slightly off, legs are relaxed. Let's take it into Superman. So we're gonna activate the entire backside of the body as you lift the arms, lift the legs. Be careful you're not lifting your head or looking up. We want the neck to maintain alignment with the rest of the spine here. So let's keep our eyesight on the floor. Good, exhale, reach and release and go into swimming here if you can. Flutter kick those legs behind you. Feel the glutes, the hamstrings, the entire backside working. And then relax it down. Good job, those are not very easy. So awesome work there guys. Grab your straps, take it around the rope one more time around your hand. And then we're gonna set our arms on the outside of the wooden frame. Eyesight is down once again and pull directly back with those arms. So I'm adding extension here. You don't have to add extension. So if you wanna maintain neutral and not lift your chest off the box, that's completely fine. You're gonna feel the work no matter what. Good, let's reach those arms behind you and lower back down. Lift and lower. Keep those legs energized. Awesome work guys, arms to a T. Let's finish it off here. Bring those palms in to meet the hips. You can think of your palms coming in to meet your hips or you can think of your pinky finger coming in to meet your hip as well. Beautiful work. Reach in and open out. Let's hang those loops up guys. Wonderful work today. We're gonna step off carefully to the side. If you wanna take a child's pose here, you totally can. And we're gonna finish it with a roll down. So hip distance apart there with the feet. Standing tall, let's sweep those arms up. Let's go and reach those fingertips down to your toes and just check in with yourself. How does your body feel as it did from the beginning of class. One more time, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Hit that thumbs up if you can. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Check out the other videos, and we'll see you next time.